All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I think it's time for us to kick off. So today we are hosting a webinar about navigating holiday shipping and fulfillment. We have a packed agenda today. We're really excited to be here with you all. Thank you for joining us on this lovely Tuesday uh, morning or afternoon, depending where you are. And we're excited to, to get started. Before we jump in, would love to give a little bit of information about how our webinars work. So we will be sharing this content with attendees today. You are welcome to take notes, but you will receive a copy of the recording. Uh, it takes us a few days to process it internally, and then we'll, we'll send that out to everyone. We also have some fair folks in the chat today. So our moderators are here to help share helpful links um, and address comments that you have throughout the session. Remember though, that when you're chatting to chat to everyone so that everyone can see your comment or question and that our chat moderators can see it as well. We also have prepared an agenda today. So we will cover specific content. We also have some frequently asked questions. We appreciate everyone who shared questions when they signed up for the webinar. We did our best to make sure that we're covering most of those questions today. Um, we won't have time though for, for office hours or live Q&A, so if you do have additional questions, please visit fair.com slash support. That's our help center. There's a lot of great information in there, and you can search for the question that's top of mind for you. All right, our agenda. So today we'll start off with introductions. We'll then go into shipping options and best practices. We'll talk about some of the supply chain issues and, and issues with shipping this holiday season. We'll cover some frequently asked questions uh, submitted by, by all of you. And then we'll finish with feedback, an opportunity to give feedback and some resources for all of our brands. All right, introductions. My name is Madeline. I am on our marketing team here at FAIR. I am based in San Francisco. And I've been on the FAIR team for about three years, uh, and I focus on content and a lot of the educational resources that we, we love to share with our brands. We also have Nicholas joining today. He's on our brand success team. He'll introduce himself again when he gets started. As, uh, and we also have Brian, who works with uh, partners with a number of our brands, and he will also share a bit about himself when he gets started. So this is our panel. We're really, really excited to be with you. All, um, all of our the folks on our panel have expertise in, in working with our brand. So we're excited to, to share that knowledge with everyone today. Before we dive into the core content that we'll, we'll cover, I did want to take a step back and just remind everyone about our mission here at FAIR. FAIR was founded in 2017 by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs on the belief that the future of, of retail is local. So that's near and dear to our hearts. Our mission is to empower independent retailers and brands like all of you to chase their dreams. And that's why we built FAIR, the wholesale marketplace where we're really working every day to empower small business owners and brands to buy and sell wholesale online. And at the end of the day, our primary goal is to help you grow and simplify your business. If we want to just sort of generally look at our marketplace by numbers today, we have over 200,000 retailers across North America and Europe. We have over 20,000 brands selling from 70 countries globally. And on peak days, we our marketplace sees over $5 million in, in revenue that it's processing. So now, before we jump into today's content, I would love to find out from all of you if you feel equipped to serve your customers and tackle shipping challenges this holiday season. We'll take a quick poll, see how people are feeling, and we'll take this poll again at the end of the webinar and see if, if people are feeling a little bit more equipped.
So let's see. Okay, it looks like uh, people are feeling pretty good today and I'm excited about that. Let's see though if we can we can get a little bit um, a little bit more uh, a little bit more information and, and helping people feel super super equipped to tackle challenges this this holiday. So let's get started. We're going to kick off with shipping options and best practices, and I will be passing passing it off to Nicholas, who's going to cover this section with everyone today. I'll see you all in a bit. Thanks so much, Madeline. Hey, everyone. My name is Nicholas Heemskirk. Uh, I've been at FAIR for a little over two years now, uh, and I manage some of the, the brands in the personal care category. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you today about some shipping options and best practices. So before I get into the details here, I wanted to ask you all a quick question in the chat. Um, so we're curious, what systems or tools do you all use to ship and fulfill orders? And again, feel free to drop all the answers in the chat. I'm seeing stamp, stamps.com, go shippo, ShipStation, that's a big one. Pirate Ship, I've not heard of that one. That's, that's an interesting one too. Shopify, yep. Yep, fair, nice. Awesome, looks like we have a good mix here. Nice, deliver, yep. Well, cool. Um, thanks for sharing, everyone. I'm going to first go over just a, a basic refresher on fulfilling orders. Uh, let's review the options you have when shipping fair orders and uh, want to give you a quick rundown of what we're going to cover today. So first, shipping with fair. Uh, I'll go into that in more detail later. Same with shipping on your own, international shipping, and then uh, a bit more information about shipping costs. Uh, and as a reminder, FAIR brands ship for free, so regardless of how you choose to ship your orders, you are never responsible uh, for those shipping costs. So first, shipping with FAIR. Uh, FAIR's seamless shipping system makes it easy and affordable to download and print your shipping labels at home. So you can cho choose from a bunch of different shipping providers, USPS, UPS, or FedEx. Uh, and we'll give you the prepaid labels to ship your orders. Uh, you can also add shipping and handling fees as needed. These are additional costs that are also passed on to the retailer. Thirdly, you can customize your packing slips to sort products in a way that's helpful to your fulfillment team. Uh, another pro tip, FAIR actually has pre-negotiated rates with many of these carriers. Um, so basically the more orders that are shipped with FAIR, the lower we can continue negotiating our rates for you. Now, shipping on your own. So if you already have a shipping system in place and that works for you, you should definitely continue doing it that way. Um, you know, if you have your own carrier and you know, it works for you and it's affordable um, and it benefits your retailers, definitely keep doing that. All we need from you at that point is just to enter the tracking number into your FAIR account so that retailers can consistently track every order. You can also hand deliver packages locally um, and then finally, you can get reimbursed for your shipping costs. Uh, you'll always receive reimbursement for your shipping costs when FAIR remits your order payout. Uh, as a side note, FAIR orders shipped from the U.S. to international destinations must be shipped with FAIR uh, because we're taking care of many of the customs and, uh, and taxes associated with that. And as I was just mentioning with international ship shipping, just ensure your products can be sold internationally. Um, when in doubt, contact your customs broker. Follow regulations set by shipping carriers. Um, so maybe consulting the shipping company for the most up-to-date packaging and shipping rules. Uh, and then thirdly, check your tariff codes and invoices. 
Fair's system does this and, and we can help predict the right tariff codes for your products by auto-generating the documents you need for customs. Um, so just kind of double check that uh, if, they're, if they're all good to go. If you have any questions about international sales, we can definitely help. We have many international shipping guides in our help center, uh, which we'll link uh, that can walk you through all of that. Awesome. And then with shipping costs, so like, like I already mentioned, shipping is always free for brands. Uh, whether you choose to get reimbursed or using Ship with Fair, uh, shipping costs should never come out of your bottom line. Retailers pay for shipping, so shipping and handling costs are passed along to your customers. For a limited time, though, Fair is covering international freight and duties uh, for UK and uh, European retailers. Finally, Fair offers shipping promotions and discounts to retailers. So this is a bit of a side note, but sometimes uh, to encourage retailers to buy more, we offer free shipping to customers who meet certain criteria. Um, plus, buyers can subscribe to our discounted shipping program called Insider. <clears throat> now, here are some best practices when fulfilling orders just to ensure a really quality experience for your customers. Uh, so the idea here is that you'll transform buyers into lifelong customers when you deliver a high level of customer service. Um, I'm going to cover a few best practices to ensure a really high bar of customer service when fulfilling orders. Uh, and then this applies this holiday season and beyond. Uh, so here are the few bullet points that I'm going to cover. Keeping lead times up to date, shipping within your stated lead time, contacting customers as soon as possible if delays arise, sending thank yous, uh, and then rewarding customers with a gift. So with making sure lead times are accurate, uh, you know, we know delays happen. Uh, basically, we just ask that you keep them up to date and communicate your lead times consistently to show buyers that they can rely on you. So help your retailers plan their buying appropriately by keeping that lead time up to date Retailers, as we've seen, are more likely to order again when your lead times are consistently accurate. Um, and then always update those lead times, either when you're swamped or you don't want to take a well-deserved vacation. You can easily change these lead times in your marketplace settings. Uh, shipping within your stated lead times. A recent survey found that nearly 80% of fair retailers say fast turnaround times on orders are more important during the holiday season. Uh, so you can demonstrate your brand's value by striving for fast turnaround and sticking to your stated lead time. Consider promoting the latest date that you can accept holiday orders. Email campaigns are a great way of doing this. Uh, sending messages and emails directly through fair with helpful updates for your customers this holiday season. Uh, and again, you can use campaigns uh, in the marketing tab for that. Contact your customers about delays. So when those unexpected delays do occur, uh, after an order has been placed, you can continue building those meaningful relationships through timely and honest communication with the customer. So just reaching out to those retailers as soon as possible if you're unable to ship that order in your stated lead time Upfront transparency is, is very important um, during the shipping and fulfillment process uh, and then helps maintain that, that trusting relationship. Uh, and then thirdly, send a quick message you know, if, if that works for you as well. It only takes a quick moment to locate the retailer in your customer's page and then just send them a note through FAIR's messaging feature. Sending a sincere thank you. Uh, retailers are more likely to return and buy again when you create that custom, uh, you know, really engaging experience for them. You should, it could include an honest word of gratitude. A letter of thanks is one of the simplest ways to express that gratitude. Maybe a handwritten card to show your customers how important they are to you. Really build that, that you know, buyer behavior. Uh, and then send thank you cards to top customers by snail mail or include them in your end of year orders through FAIR. Uh, for those local customers, you might even consider hand delivering those thank you cards. Now, just to give you all some takeaways before I hand it off to Brian, you have a few options for shipping when you fulfill your FAIR orders. Basically, just pick the one that's right for you. 
Frequently updating lead times and sticking to them can help inspire more return customers. Keeping retailers informed about unexpected delays helps build honest customer relationships. Uh, and thank you cards show your loyal customers that you care. Now I will be handing it off to Brian to talk a little bit about shipping globally this holiday season. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for stopping by today. Um, again, my name is Brian. I work on our partnerships team out of San Francisco and I've been with FAIR for just on two years now. Um, and so today, hopefully, I am going to demystify what can feel like a very complex topic. So at the at a high level, we're going to go over some key themes here, um, just sort of what we're hearing from everyone and providing an overview of current challenges in shipping. Um, like anything else, staying calm by putting a plan in place um, as soon as possible. Um, you're in good shape if you start doing that now. It's not even yet October. Um, being aware of projected shipping times and costs, how you can stay abreast of potential future international shipping delays um, as they occur occur. Um, and then as we're thinking about how we're going to be moving products, it's equally as important to think about what products we're going to be moving. And so making sure we also touch on um, paying special attention to those top selling products in your uh, catalog. And so I think a key theme, I think Nick said it, there could have been a poll for how many times we think we've said delays here today, but I think a key theme we're going to keep coming across is that we expect delays. Um, we've been hearing it on the news, we've been hearing it from our shipping partners, and we've been hearing it from you all as members of our brand and retailer community. So a, in a conservative space, let's expect shipping times this season to be delayed by up to six weeks. Um, they are expected not just here in the US or Canada, but globally. Um, and I think the biggest takeaway here is that we we kind of keep each other abreast of any changes that we're seeing and kind of maintain that 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 transparency um, during the process because it can be frustrating for for everyone involved. Um, and then again, I, th I think again putting a, a plan in place and setting clear expectations um, so that everyone kind of knows what to what to expect when they're headed into those seasons. What's causing those delays? Um, we've been talking to folks a lot and we're hearing that there are pretty big things that none of us have a lot of control over to think about. Um, so some of those big reasons that delays are happening are closures of major ports in Asia. Um, that's creating bottlenecks across the US and the United States. Um, containers are scarce, they're expensive, um, and there are lasting effects from earlier incidents of 2021, like the closing of the Suez Canal we're still going to be dealing with that heading into the holiday season. Um, just as I mentioned a few seconds ago, uh, those key products, not only shipping containers, but inputs to how everyone manufactures their wares um, are going to be in limited supply. Um, and so a lot of that feeds into that six week delay that I mentioned as we head into the holiday season. But don't worry, we're going to talk about how we get a plan in place. <laughs> so the biggest thing here is to, to not wait. Um, let's make sure we're putting a plan in place around shipping ASAP. Um, and so I would think about how can you familiarize yourself with shipping rules and requirements for every country you sell in. Um, this might be the first holiday season if you're new to fair that you're selling internationally outside of your, your home country. Um, key factors to consider when you're thinking through all of those, you know, all those options are what customs regulations and fees should you have in mind? tariffs, you know, as you're moving goods internationally, are there restricted items or ingredients you should be aware of? Um, and then always thinking about how you're packaging your wares and should you be purchasing extra insurance um, as you're sending them, maybe not just around the corner, but across the globe. Um, as always, FAIR will help you to the best of our ability to streamline shipping. Um, and so as you're putting that plan in place, we have a number of guides and tools within FAIR to help make sure that your plan and our tools will make this process as seamless as possible. Part of this is also understanding what goes into those delays. You know, it's not just six weeks. There's a lot of other costs associated with it. Um, there's a lot of other moving pieces that could create additional delays. And so just like we've been doing, I think, which is just spending a lot of time talking to people um, and listening, I think you could be doing the same on your end. So think about all of your various shipping partners, um, USPS, UPS, FedEx, DHL, 
they all have different deadlines uh, for shipping, whether that's domestic or international. So I would think about which ones you use the most and maybe jot down some of those important deadlines and have them handy somewhere. Um, when you're looking into all of these different shipping partners and all of their different shipping times, obviously, depending on how fast you're looking to get something somewhere, uh, that can really drive up costs. So you would want to think about, you know, what are all the costs associated with the various ways that you're moving goods across the globe? Um, and then never forget that we work with a lot of these same partners and we have negotiated shipping rates um, with the same folks that you might be working with. So it's always a good tip to check with FAIR to see if we might be, be able to provide you a more competitive rate um, that you might be getting on your own. And so if anybody is keeping track of how many times we said delays, we can add another uh, tick to your tally. <laughs> um, and so um, a lot of these things can become complex and they are kind of constantly changing. So I would just, again, continue to check in with your, um, your shipping partners. Oftentimes they're gonna be proactively sending out alerts, whether that's into your inbox or your, um, your, your cell phone. Um, so just stay apprised of any, any alerts that those folks are putting out. We'll kind of do our best to keep you apprised of anything we're hearing on our side. Um, Things like natural disasters, inclement weather, um, continued changes with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, port closures, kind of all those things that bubble up into increased delays for all of us. Um, so if you're hearing about any of those, just take note um, and think about how that might affect your shipping times. And lastly, everyone's gonna be a little frantic, it's the holidays. Um, and so if a retailer does reach out to you with questions about um, expected delays or where their shipment is located, um, I think the biggest thing here is to make sure you go ahead, review their order, have the most up-to-date information before you go ahead and answer so that everyone can feel calm <laughs> and collected as they're continuing to push through the holiday season. My screen's being a little laggy, so one second. <laughs> There it goes. Um, and so as we think about how we're moving things, I think it's equally important to talk about what we're moving, especially your, your top sellers. Um, and so as you head into the holiday season, I would take a, a seat and think about what has been selling for you um, in the last few years or even earlier this year so that you're really prepared with those hottest sellers um, and pay close attention to your product category on big retail sites. Um, or across other social media channels like Instagram, or you know maybe you're scrolling through Pinterest or Google Trends um, to really help you understand which of your products um, are going to be selling and selling like hotcakes as we head into the, the fall and the holiday season. Um, and then lastly, um, never forget that outside of those channels that you might that might come to mind initially, like Instagram or Google Trends, you also have Fair's um, data-driven analytics. Um, and so you can start to measure success and sell through information for your existing catalog on FAIR. And so key takeaways, delays, add it to your list, I've said it again. Um, but again, plan ahead, just kind of keep abreast of everything that's going on in your, in your community, including both from the retailers that you work with and your shipping partners. We'll continue to do the same and you know, let you know of anything that we're hearing on the ground. Um, and secondly, that will go on and it will change over the course of the next few months. So um, be aware of current events that might feed into any ongoing changes with shipping. Um, and lastly, um, retailers and um, are gonna have questions. Um, and so with all this information, make sure you know what your top sellers are um, and you're ready to answer those retailer questions and fulfill orders as they come in. And with that, I think I'm gonna pass the mic back to Maddie. That's right. All right. Thank you, Brian, for all of that information. I know there are so many things to think about um, when it comes to shipping and supply chain issues and what the best options are. Um, we hope that that a lot of that information was helpful. Um, and we we know that there's there's still some questions that folks had. Uh, when we sent out registration for the webinar, we did ask you to share any any top of mind questions. A lot of the questions we were able to to weave into the core of our content, but there were a couple questions that came up a handful of times that I wanted to specifically address uh, right now. So let's jump in. 
can I reduce or increase the shipping costs that I pass along to my retailers? So I think this comes to, you know, about comes down to delivering great customer service, but, but also the thing that's right for your team. So wanting to make sure that the costs that are passed along to retailers are economical, but also making sure that that you and your brand are, are covering the costs on your end. So there are a couple of things that you can consider when it comes to, uh, to influencing the costs that you're, that you're passing along to retailers. So the answer is yes. You can think about reducing shipping costs through a few creative options. So first of all, we mentioned if buyers are nearby, you can hand deliver packages locally. All you then have to do is, is mark in your, in your account that you've hand delivered the package. That's something that, that then retailers are not, are not paying for shipping if, you know, if they're in your town. Um, it's also a nice way to build relationships if, if that's something that you enjoy doing. Something else you can consider if you ship on your own, you can subsidize the shipping costs that you submit. So when you are shipping on your own, the way that FAIR is reimbursing you and, and we're passing along costs to the retailer is based on the co shipping costs that you enter into your portal. If you have a retailer that you'd like to give a break on shipping or, you know, they're, they're someone who order from you frequently and, and you want to give them a little bit of a, a reduction, you're empowered to do so by entering a lower value into the portal when you are moving through the, the fulfillment flow. So that's something that you're welcome to do if, if, it's, if it's appealing to you. You can also think about the shipping and packing materials that you use. So uh, there was actually a great thread in our brand forum the other day about thoughts around reusing and recycling shipping and packing materials. The consensus sort of seemed to be that, that it's a great move if you can do it as long as you know, the branding and, and presentation feels right for your, for your brand. So think about reusing boxes that have, have, that you already have in your, in your studio or home that have, that have come from other shipments, packing materials. You can recycle a number of different packing materials. Some folks were saying they, uh, they break down old cardboard boxes and reuse those, those materials to be packaging filler and, and padding for their products. So those, those are certain ways that you can cut costs on your end. Ultimately, that flows through to the retailer. You can also cover the costs of shipping for a limited time by running a free shipping promotion. That's something you can do on FAIR. You can set up a, a free shipping promotion basically within a, a specific amount of time where you say that anyone who buys your line during your promotion dates, you'll be covering the cost of shipping. So that's something that if you know, you're concerned about uh, about your retailers taking on costs and it's something you have in your budget, you, you're able to, to support the additional costs of, of shipping for a period of time. It's something you are empowered to do unfair as well. So that sort of covers the reducing shipping costs. If you need to increase shipping costs, so maybe you have a few additional costs on your end that you need to pass along to retailers. You would do that through the handling fees, which is something we mentioned earlier in the presentation. But handling fees are something you can add on to shipping costs, and maybe it'll help cover costs like your warehouse or staff, premium, premium or specialty packaging, or anything else that you're just finding a gap and you need to, to pad the cost of shipping a little bit. And so you can turn on the handling fees option in your shop settings, and then you can, you can enter an amount when you're filling orders. All right, another question that came up was, can I integrate ShipStation or another shipping software with FAIR? So these are for folks who are shipping on their own. You already have a system that you like and that you're comfortable with. How do you make that really easy when you're using FAIR? as well? And the answer is yes. We do offer a few different ways to integrate 
a variety of software systems with FAIR. So this can include ShipStation, it can include other shipping tools. It also really can include a wide variety of softwares you use internally. Um, so different uh, inventory management systems or accounting solutions, you ultimately have two options to integrate with FAIR. You can work with one of our integration partners to set up an integration between FAIR and the software of your choice. So we work with a number of different, uh, what are called middleware partners who their sole job is to create links between different types of software. And so we have a number of folks that have built specialty integrations with FAIR and you can select one of them based on the software option that you are trying to integrate with. So that's one option. Another option, is that you can share FAIR's API with your development team and build your own custom integration. So this is something that maybe if you have um, a larger team and you have more complex, more um, customized systems that you use internally, this could be an option for you if you have a development team that is capable of integrating this way. So uh, all of these options, you can read more about this in our help center when you look up um, integrations. There's a whole list of different partners you can choose from. You can also reach out to us to learn more about our API and, and learn more about getting the ball rolling here. All right. Now, I would love to close with some feed, some opportunities for feedback, as well as some resources. I know that there are so many questions about shipping. There are so many things to tackle when it comes to getting ready for the holidays and thinking about what's going on in the world. And we want to make sure that you have the ability to continue your own research um, and also to give us feedback on what you found to be helpful in this webinar, what maybe could we could do better next time. And also we'd love to know, um, you know what you learned. So I know we mentioned at the, at the beginning, we'd take this poll again. I would love to know if after today's webinar, you feel, any more equipped to serve your customers and tackle shipping challenges this holiday season. So take our poll. I am I'm going to give us a few seconds for everyone to um, take a look. All right, well, this is very exciting. We had a, um, a big increase in the number of people who are feeling that yes, they are equipped. I love to see that. Um, so we started with about 27% of people feeling that they were, they were ready and equipped to, um, to tackle the holidays. And now we've got um, the majority of the group um, feeling equipped. We don't have anyone who doesn't feel not at all equipped. That's what I love to see. Thank you all for taking a moment to, to let us know. We love to see that you've learned something today. To continue this, the, the cycle of feedback, which is something we are really big on here at FAIR. We love feedback um, about our, our programs and our platform. We'd love for you to take our survey. So we put together a survey about what um, we covered today. We'd love to know what you liked, what you think that we could improve for next time. And we'll drop that in the chat there. We'll also be emailing that survey to everyone who's attended along with the content from this webinar. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we will produce a recording of this webinar and send it out to everyone so that you can rewatch it at your leisure. So please, please, please take our survey. That'll, that'll be, um, it, it just enables us to continue creating awesome content for all of you that is genuinely helpful. There are a few other resources that I would love everyone to keep in mind as we head out of this webinar. So first of all, we have our blog. It's called The Studio and it's our blog for brands. We feature stories from our community, 
business management advice, industry insights, so things that are going along, going on at, um, you know, in the retail and wholesale industry that we think you should be aware of, as well as news from FAIR, um, things, you know, new features that are available, things that are coming down the pipe that you might be interested in. Um, we also try to share data that we're, that we're receiving um, and pass that along to our customers so that you're in the know about trends and, um, and what's, what's popular in terms of products. We also have our podcast, which is called Brick and Order. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts, and it's a great series on um, featuring interviews from brands and retailers from our community, as well as experts in their field related to various topics um, that affect our, our brands and our retailers. Um, and we will have a couple of um, new episodes coming out closer to the holidays, so you can get excited for that. We also have our help center. So I know our folks in chat have been dropping in um, links to our help center throughout this webinar, and it's a really great resource. You can search for topics that you need more information about, and it's an up-to-date guide on all of our policies and features that can help you, um, particularly with things like shipping. There's a lot of really specific information in there. All right. I wanted to say thank you to everyone for joining us. Thank you for participating. Thank you for all of your thoughts and questions in chat. And we will continue to let you know as we have new webinars and new um, opportunities to tune in for, for new information. But thank you all for joining and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday.